All right, we have another Seagam chiller that was giving us a bunch of comm loss alarms, electronic expansion valve, discharge pressure transducer. Um, mostly those two. So couldn't get it to restart. It just kept going into alarm. Hooked it up to tech view and found that discharge uh, pressure transducer for circuit two, which was here, was unbound. So we tried to rebind it and it wouldn't bind. So I ended up taking apart this connection here and just kind of blowing through it and reconnected it and we were able to bind. So we're going to try and start it up and see if it takes off. Um, so far, where is our discharge? Let's see, where's circuit two? Discharge pressure, 249, so let's give it a go. Currently, water temp, 80 degrees. So. Sounds like circuit one is firing up. Circuit one, definitely on. Just one compressor so far. Fired up. This one's running. So currently, super heats eleven and a half. Sub cooling was 9.7. Pressures don't look too bad. No real flashing there. I'm taking discharge temperature readings too. Uh, had to uh, break my probe on there to fit on that suction line. Spoke too soon. She just shut down to alarm and it again discharge pressure transducer. So probably gonna be replacing a cable. But it ran a good 30 minutes or so. so let's see if I got a cable on the truck. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and put in a binding view again going to shut down the chiller and see if it's unbound again for that discharge transducer. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and replace the cable that I missed with the last time and see if that's going to improve. All right, so we're going to replace this cable here. Bind it and the light for that thing is under here. All right, circuit one's back on, and wait for two to come on. All right, so that seems to be working. Uh, but I did find a transducer, so we're gonna go ahead and replace that too, just for good measure. Uh, seems like it was our cable that was messing up, but you never know. It could be the 
prongs in there. So. All right, get that changed. Zero zero eight. Get me dirty. One zero zero eight. All right, all the other numbers have pretty much evaporated, so we're gonna roll with this. It can do seven hundred psi. All right, just plot a little dialogue there. And away we go. up let's take a look at our discharge pressure temperature so this is called 274 and 90 275 and I'm taking a reading I got to uh, take a look at the screenshot here Yeah, you can kind of see some green corrosion going on inside that cable, so that could be our little intermittent problem. So this end, hard to really tell, but that looks pretty clean. Alright, super heat seems to be matching pretty good. We got here 40 and 52. Real close. There's our water temp. We are 52.6 and 43.6. All right, and this is the air handler that that chiller is connected to. I believe there's one other air handler in this building. It's for a auditorium. You see our return temperature there. This is actually. The return vent through the wall into this space. And it's a rather tall building. I think sounds good in here. And temperatures are coming down. Your temps maintaining. So uh, looks like that got it, changing the uh, cable and the transducer. So it's going to wrap up this job. As always, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.